Hi everybody, I'm back with a fun weather-related craft for you guys. As you know, we talk about the weather every day in circle and we've been having it on our daily schedule and doing different kinds of stories and music and crafts all related to the weather. And after yesterday's big storm, oh my goodness, I heard it's gonna rain again. So we looked at the weather today during our Zoom call and we said there were clouds in the sky and there was sun, but there were more clouds. So today in our art project, we're going to make some puffy paint clouds resembling the clouds that you might see if you looked outside today. So let's talk about what we need. We need some shaving cream, regular shaving cream, and some regular school glue. And if you want to tint it some color, you would need a little bit of food color a brush or one of these um, rubber swipey things that you can paint with, a little bowl to mix it in and a little measuring cup to measure some of the ingredients. So let's get started. It's really two things. It's so easy to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some shaving cream. Okay. You can measure it out or you can put it right in your bowl. So I'm just going to measure a half cup about and put it into my bowl. Okay, there we go. And now I'm gonna add some glue. Now I'm just gonna judge how much glue I think it's gonna be. It's not gonna be a half cup of glue. It's gonna be maybe about a quarter cup of glue into there. Okay, all right, that looks good to me. Now let's mix it up. I've got my brush, I'm gonna mix it up. Mix, mix, mix. Now it's changing the consistency of the shaving cream from just shaving cream into something that we can create art with and make designs and paint. But today we're looking at the clouds. So wait till you see what happens. Now, I have some plain paper here, some blue paper that's kind of the sky if it was a beautiful day. And now I'm just gonna take my brush or this little black scooper paint thing on to the paper and I'm just gonna put it down. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna push it around a little bit to look like the clouds in the sky. All right, let's get some more. All right, you can make big clouds, you can make little clouds. Just take your brush and move it around on the paper. Leave it puffy because when it dries, it's gonna stay with that texture of puffy paint. It's gonna be so cool. I'm gonna make another one. Filling up my paper with these beautiful, big, white, fluffy clouds. Now, let's say you wanted to add some glitter, which I don't have available, but you could sprinkle some glitter in or you wanted to add some color to this, you're just gonna take like a tiniest little drop. Okay, I'm just gonna add one tiny little drop into it. I'm gonna pick blue. Okay, there goes the blue. One little drop, that's all it needs. Be careful with the sustains, okay? So now we're mixing it. Do you see what's happening? Do you see what's happening to our puff paint? It's changing color. The food coloring changed it from white to blue. So now I have Blue clouds, all right, I think that looks good. Let's try putting some of that on the paper. Here it goes. I'm scooping some of it up with my brush and I'm just applying it onto the paper. So now I have swirls of blue and white. Oh, it's so pretty. What a pretty sky this is. Here you go. Okay, you don't have to make clouds. You can just make designs if you want, but it's such a cool technique. And then what you would do is you would leave it to dry. And then when you come back, when it's all dry, it's going to stay with that texture and the puffiness. And there you have, you created a cloudy day or a sunny day, depending with some beautiful white fluffy clouds in it. All right, guys, I'm going to be back in a few minutes with a steam experiment with shaving cream. All right, see you in a few. Bye.